Good morning, students. I want to take a minute to share with you a couple strategies in Schoology that are going to help you make it an easier platform to navigate. And the first one that we want to talk about is what you see in the courses dropdown. Some of you may have already worked this out and fine tuned it, but I'd like for you to stay with me through this video just in case I point out something that you didn't know before. So the first thing you ought to know is that whenever you click on the Pinecrest School logo in the upper left corner of your Schoology navigation, it will take you back to your landing page. What's really important about our landing page is that it aggregates or it gathers together all of the information and the updates that your teachers are posting for you. It's really important that you check this twice a day. Our recommendation is that you scroll down to the most recent post that you remember reading, and then you read in reverse to make sure that you haven't missed anything. So I'm pretending that the last post I saw was Mr. Greenhut's to the faculty, and I'm just gonna go back and I wanna read each one to make sure I'm up to date. Now that I know I'm up to date, the next time I check, I'm gonna remember that Mrs. Ferrara's post was the last one I saw, and I'm gonna read everything above that. So. But we're really here though to talk about our courses panel. And when we click on this, it's gonna show the top 12 courses of our list of courses. And it's gonna, this is a, something that we can change the order of. So I wanna show you how you can change the order of this. Cause right off the bat, look, I've got 12, nine, 11. I like for my things to be in order. So let's look at how we can do this. In the upper right hand corner, my courses is a link that we can click. You may never have noticed that before, but there it is. So I'm gonna click on that link. It says my courses and it's definitely a clickable link. And it's gonna take me to this courses page. It's important that you know that any course that appears here for you is a course you can click through. So I can, if I wanna click straight through to grade nine, I can do that right here. But we're not here to look at that. We're here to reorder our courses. We're gonna find this in the upper right corner under the blue button that says join a course, you're gonna see reorder courses. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I'm gonna move my video a little bit. This becomes a drag and drop panel. What you really need to know here is that anything that appears below this line or is not in the top 12 on this list is not gonna show up from the courses dropdown. So it's really important that I'm regularly active in the upper school faculty course. So I'm gonna drag and drop that pretty far up to the top. It's gonna bump my last item. So now I'm not gonna see my test course in the dropdown, that's okay. And then I'm gonna just quickly drag and drop and reorder these so that it goes 12, 11, 10, nine. There you go, I'm just drag and drop and then that's how it can be reordered. And when I'm done, I click the X, okay? Notice these haven't changed, but when I click on my courses drop down, I'm gonna see that the order of the courses has changed based on how I reordered them. I think it's important that you also know this is the same process that you would go through to organize your clubs when all of our clubs get back online and are up and running. Also, remember, we navigated here by clicking on courses and then by clicking on the link that is my courses in the upper right corner. I really hope this information is helpful to you. 